Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, we are in. Guess in the comment section what district we're in. No answers are wrong. Let's hear it in the comments what district you think I am in. First person to get it right gets a pinned comment from me. All right, so we are in District 12, 40 minutes away from the heart of District 1. We're gonna do a walking tour dead in the middle of dead in the middle of rush hour so we're gonna check it out walk around see what it looks like absolutely phenomenal day so before I get into the video if you did like this video I'd appreciate it if you smashed the like button commented and of course if you want to see more cool content in Vietnam and traveling all around Asia subscribe to the channel I would greatly appreciate it so yeah we're in the middle of rush hour there's insanity going on everywhere horns are honking people are whizzing by this is what makes Vietnam fun, in my opinion. This is what makes Saigon. Saigon. And this is, you know, everything. You can sit down for a bowl of hot soup if you want somewhere on a little tiny stool. Whatever your heart desires, you can do it here. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> so this is a Gilo Dong. This is a Moby World. Talked about this a bunch. I always say it wrong. You can buy TV, appliances, cell phones, all kinds of stuff here. So yeah, we're in District 12. It's a suburb district. It takes 40 minutes to get here. This week, we're going to be traveling all around in Saigon to places normally zero tourists go to, or you might not even know about or ever have seen in your life. So that's where we're starting off today's journey at. Tomorrow morning you will see the motorbike vlog from District 1 to District 12. 40 minutes of pure joy in 4K. 60 frames per second. The zone. What's the zone? Must be a new project with Gilo Dong. So we've got FPT Shop. FPT is one of the only partners with Apple to actually sell Apple products that is verified through Apple. They're not an official partner, they're test running it. And in 2023, Apple will be opening its first stores in Vietnam. So FTP will no longer be the pilot partner. Apple will do it alone. So just so you know, the only place where you can officially buy an Apple product, Xin Chào, hello, hello. <laughs> You'll see as we walk around here, it's a lot different than most of the places we walk around. They're gonna be very surprised to see a foreigner here. This is not a place where foreigners go, where foreigners live, or tourists come. So, it's going to be an interesting journey walking around for the next hour here. There's a Viettel. Viettel. We got a Yamaha dealership over here. What do we got here? OET. Un Kang Fu. And some Fa. Like some bamba play. Got a barber shop over here. We got some kambat, some orange juice over here. Kam ep. 15k for a kg. That's a really good price. I don't drink orange juice too much anymore. Maybe once a week. Not not too frequently on the orange juice anymore. And we've got. So this is what your traditional Vietnam is. This is Vietnam. You've got the little stools that can barely hold your weight if you're over 100 kgs. You've got the little tables. you got a guy selling this looks like bamba hue of some sort. Yeah, looks like it. Some kind of soup with some kind of pig in it. Anytime you see that stuff, especially one like this, my guess is as we get going in the next hour, there'll be a bunch of people eating here. That's a safe place to eat. Across the street here, you have what they call a beer club. So this is a beer seafood club. So you come here after work with your coworkers. You drink some tigers and you get some seafood fresh out of the seafood case over there. And if you do do that, you want to have them weigh it out in front of you and then give you the price right away so you don't get ripped off. Usually that stuff only happens in District 1 and around there. Uh, the gringo tax, we call it. So here is a pharmacia. This is the type of pharmacy I go to. I don't like the mainstream one. This one's going to be way more affordable on stuff. You know, uh, Farm City has like a 20 to 30% markup. And no, you don't have to worry about fake uh, medicine. Used to be a thing here, not anymore. Same with alcohol. All the alcohol is real. 
They used to have a problem with fake alcohol. It's not so much anymore. So we got a pho ba. So we got a beef pho over here. Looks like a pretty popular spot. We got four or five people in there right now. <clears throat> and we got a little Honda dealer over here. These are all gonna be scooter dealerships. To get a motorcycle, they have to specialize in that and import it in each motorcycle. Most of those are gonna be in District 1 and uh, Max Moto is the big Kawasaki one if you wanna get a bigger Kawasaki. I have no plans to get a new bike. You know, when we do get one, we're gonna get a ZX25R or the ZX400R that they're coming out with this year. And we'll convert it into a, an upright, you know, into a street fighter. So meaning by that, you take the handlebars off, you put on tall handlebars, then you put a set of risers on, and then you've essentially got a sport bike that is a naked bike. Keep the fairing on, of course, but it gives you that comfortable riding position. But that's not a purchase I'm in any hurry to make. What do we got here? A little resale shop of uh, kitchen stuff, like gas burners and stuff like this. Then we got some street food, street snacks. Some like chips, essentially. This is the rice paper. Pretty good stuff. I do like the rice paper with quail egg. It's pretty tasty. We got a toy shop. You're seeing more and more toy shops pop up. Yeah, interesting little area, to be honest. We got an agri bank over here. Ciao. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Good English. <laughs> See, everybody's super friendly here. Like I said, it's gonna be a rarity to have seen a foreigner out this far. There's some kind of plant out here. What is this? Kind of water treatment plant? Yeah, this looks like water treatment. I'm not gonna film it. I don't know if they want it filmed. We got over here. So fomai, so fomai is cheese, oizai, so something with cheese on it. I don't know if I've ever had that. I'll ask the wife if I have, and if I haven't, we'll come review one of them. I'm not eating food today. I am on a, starting off a 72 hour fast. Today is Monday. So I will not be eating food for the next three days. And to get myself into ketosis, into autophagy, and then after I'm into ketosis on Wednesday, I will switch to one meal a day and try to get in 200 grams of protein for that one meal a day. I know that sounds crazy, but each person's different. I know what diet works for my system. If you've ever watched my channel in the beginning, you can see I arrived here at 185 pounds. So, you know, I'm 225, 230 right now. So. I know how to lose weight. I know what works for my body, so I'm gonna do what works. I mean, if you wanna put in a comment on what I should do, go for it, but I'm gonna do what I know works for my body. And now that I'm alcohol free, it'll be even easier. Oh, so wow, we got a Heineken headquarters over here. Oh, this is a brewing plant. Oh, I can film this, amazing. So this is a Heineken brewing plant. So they're brewing beer over here. I think I can come do a tour of this one. There's a couple of these I could go tour. I know I can tour the Tiger one, and I can, Tiger is Heineken, and I'm sure I can do the Heineken one too. Pretty cool though, I mean, so this is where they're, you can see the Tiger over here, this is where they're brewing all the beer and all the different cycles it goes. Beer is the number one consumed uh, beverage of alcohol of choice in Vietnam, if you didn't know. Tiger beer is very popular in Saigon. Each beer usually changes per where you're at. Yes, Tiger's popular in Singapore and other places too. I know, you don't have to tell me. But it's very popular in Saigon. It is definitely the beer of choice. I myself am not a gigantic Tiger fan. Now I understand if somebody does like Tiger. I like the Thai beer, the Huda, to be honest with you. If I'm going for a beer, it's a Huda. So we got a PC bong over here, Tiger Gaming. A lot of the PC bongs have been suffering 
They're having to transition back from becoming Bitcoin miners back into gaming PC bong. And then they're not making as much money as they were during the whole crypto boom. So it's been a, a rough transition for a lot of these PC bongs. But I think they'll find their footing. Like this one's still open. You know, a lot of them bought 3080 cards or better. And now they're not seeing the, the comeback on that investment. A lot of the guys have sold the 3080 cards on the secondary market and gone back to 2080s and 1080s. Because you don't need a 3080 for most of the games that the people play online here. It's all that one game. I forget the name of it. There's a Domino's. Uh, the whizzing traffic of rush hour. Tell him. We got a Domino's. I'll show that side when we walk back. We'll try to keep it to this side. Juno, some kind of shoe purse shop. There's another Fa. You're gonna see a lot more Vietnamese restaurants and stuff out in this area. Not that you don't see them everywhere in Saigon, but it's gonna be more of a thing here, you know? So paint shop over there. And then this is a little like market for the local locals to buy like shampoo soap yeah she's got all the shampoo and soap another paint shop so we might be in like a little paint shop area kind of interesting you never know what you're gonna find when you're walking around randomly the way I choose a place to go is I just find somewhere where I know I can park so I just went into Google and I started looking at Highland cafes in district 12 I found one that wasn't crazy far, and then I went there. So this guy is selling seafood and then fixing bikes part-time. So he's got like, these are really popular kind of street food, but also for at dinner. Winnie loves that stuff. Pretty affordable too. It's like 50K for a kg usually. I'm not a big snail escargot guy. And here's a, Kind of some kind of banh mi. I think it's an open, yeah. So this is a open face banh mi. So like everything comes on this plate. Then you get a banh mi and you kind of like dip into it. There's like the pate, there's an egg, and then there's some beef. She's shy. <laughs> and what do we got over here? Some tom tom. So we got some broken rice and pork. It smells really good. Smells very ar aromatic. And then they've got this like egg quiche thing that's really, really good. A uh, fish lady. You got all kinds of cool little vendors here. So she's selling fish. Fish are very popular here. My wife's dad has a bunch of fish. Very, very, very popular. No surprise there. And then this is the lottery ticket seller. Let's see, do I got any money? I got extras. Maybe today is our lucky day. We'll buy one ticket. One lottery ticket for the day. Maybe it'll be the billion ticket. Tell on. Uh, let's see. Which one do you think is the best? Okay. Come on. <laughs> let's get lucky. Sometimes, even though they don't understand English, it's the mannerism. So like, I just said, which one do you think best? And immediately, like, he might know English, but he knew exactly what I meant. And then he hunted the table and found what numbers he liked the best. You know, everybody has their different perspective on what a lucky number is in Vietnam. It's very interesting. There's a really, really good Vietnamese movie that I recommend you watch if you haven't seen it. It's about a lottery ticket seller, it's a kid. It's probably my favorite Vietnamese movie besides Blood Moon Party. I'll try to list my two favorite Vietnamese parties, uh, movies in the description. You know, if they started to, to copy those two movies, 
not copy, but make that kind of quality movie, uh, Vietnam could become a big powerhouse in, in movies. Because the lottery ticket movie is really, really good. And so is the Blood Moon Party. Both movies great. So we got some crispy lichon over here. Looks really, really good. Very non qua. And then she's got some bombies for sale too. And this is a wedding hall. So this is where you get married. Me and Winnie are gonna eventually do this pretty soon. Financially, we just haven't been able to. I am squirreling away money per month to get there. So we'll, I think we'll get there within the next six months. We'll finally have a nice big wedding. A lot of people want to come. You know, hopefully my mom's better and, and she can come. Right now she's battling, uh, you know, cancer again. We got a laptop repair guy. And laundry. Xin <laughs> Hello. Laundry lady. Everybody's super friendly here. It's night and day difference compared to like District 1, District 3, and walking around in like, you know, downtown Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. People are very excited to see a foreigner and a Westerner here. There's a coffee shop, pretty popular coffee shop. Quite a few guys sitting around chilling. Everybody's smoking. So I'm uh, about eight days off of cigarettes and eight days off of alcohol all together, cold turkey. And cigarettes are already to the point where they smell disgusting and alcohol cravings are completely gone. So I'm feeling great. I should be able to drop weight pretty quick now that I'm not doing any kind of drinking and I'm going to be on a really clean diet again. Wood. They love wood. I don't like this wood. Now my dad, if he was still alive, he would love the wood. It seems to be the older generation that really likes the wood. I don't care for the way it looks. There's a baby shop. No, Winnie is not pregnant. I don't know where somebody got that. I did say in the District 7 video, looking at our new apartments, that if we had a bun in the oven, if, no buns in the oven yet, guys. Old gas station. They may be redoing it or may be trying to sell it. It's a lot easier to get rid of a gas station here than it is in America. You know, in America, you got to dig up the tank and reforge the land, essentially, that the gas station's on. Here, that's not so much. You don't have to do any of that. I think maybe you do, but it... I think maybe you have to do a little bit of uh, rec rec reclamation, but it's not as expensive as it would cost in the States, you know? What do we got here? For your amazing pets. Pet store. Pets are a big thing here. A lot of people got a lot of pets. A lot of people got a lot of pets. She's got a little boba shop, boba tea shop. She's cleaning up after, after probably a day's out. This is a locksmith, key guy, making keys. It's like his son was over there. Yeah, he's got the younger guy over there. Making some keys. Passing the craft on. And then here's a VNPT, which is an internet service provider. It's okay. That's what we have. I don't know what we're going to have when we move, but we have 100 up and 100 down. So that's kind of the difference in internet here, is you can get a really fast download. That's why I'm able on the live streams when we use the server to use the server. I have to switch batteries. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. What's up, party people? More furniture, little cigarette, hoon vendor, and uh, drinks. A big, wow, this is a huge pharmacy. And it's got an ER truck. What is this? Oh, it's kind of like a little hospital. Ciao. Yeah, it's like a little uh, hospital slash thing. It's kind of cool. So like urgent care. I haven't really seen too many of those urgent cares and I didn't even think they existed. That's, that might be the first urgent care I've seen. Or I'm just too daft and didn't realize I was seeing them before. 
That's the first real urgent care that I've actually seen. Ah, it's great to be out in this. Okay, here's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go down Toy Ving Ving I have no idea how to say that, but we're gonna take a walk down there. That's a different little ward area. Doo, doo, doo. So let's go down here. Honk it out, mama. Got a three-point turnaround by a truck blocking traffic. Love it. Got that three-point. And there's a car right here, man. Good luck to the car. He's so close. He's look. He's already. There's no way he's gonna make this. Let's watch him attempt the three-point turnaround. So in Vietnam, you can do a three-point turnaround in front of traffic wherever you want. Oh, he doesn't have enough visual on the back. Sneak by. A little kid playing with the new house being built. Dad's laying some rebar for the stairs over here. Hello. <laughs> we'll walk down here a little bit. And then we'll walk back. Try to do like a 45, 50 minute vlog. I want to get back to those old school walking, talking vlogs, man. I think that's really where the channel was made. Got a little daycare after school. Some parents, you know, have to work, so they can't come pick the kids up till after work. This is definitely like a little daycare center. Next to a school on the left. We're coming up on a school. You can always tell a school, especially uh, elementary school or, or younger, because they color it. You know, all the coloring is like little kid friendly. Oh, Domino's Pizza, 49K for a pizza. It's a pretty good deal. You get a whole pizza for two dollars? Yeah, it's a school. Whole pizza for two dollars. And you got the ice cream guy trying to get the kids after school. Most ice cream is a powdered milk ice cream. It's not a real ice cream. Some places have real ice cream, but 80% is a powdered milk. So now we're exploring like a little bit more of like a, a neighborhood cul-de-sac type deal. Kind of getting the feel for how this District 12 neighborhood is, you know? So this is a coffee shop, really nice coffee shop. Gak Cafe, pretty nice. I forget what the little dot underneath the A, I think it's just neutral, Gak. So the squiggly lines above stuff means you go up. Ban Tru, Tam. It actually goes sideways when it says sideways. I'm the worst guy to explain Vietnamese, but I know a little bit about a little bit. I'm the first one to claim that I don't know. Xin chào, hello. <laughs> All the nice kids. What a nice little friendly vlog today. Can't beat a chill little vlog like this. It's all daycare around here. This must be like daycare alley. Then down here is another little area. Not much down there though. I'm getting looked at like, why is this guy down here? I can almost assure you there's probably never been a white or expat vlogger in this area. Almost with certainty, I can tell you that. So that's what we're gonna be doing this week. We're gonna go places where no other expat or no other YouTuber besides maybe a Vietnamese YouTuber has vlogged. And now, at this point in the video, let me know what you think of this vlog. Are you finding this kind of interesting to go walk around this like, you know, more suburban rural district inside of Ho Chi Minh City? Is a gym down here? So a lot of people ask me about gyms. Never go three days without exercise, I agree. Work out at least three days a week, I agree. Never miss a Monday, International Chess Day. Never give up, I, I like that. It's pretty accurate. This is how most Vietnamese gyms look. This is very accurate 
It's got all the proper machines. It's usually an open setting like this, kind of outdoor. That's how my first gym was on Boy Vane. Glass, we got a glass worker over here. Kind of really in no hurry. We're in the middle of rush hour now, so I just keep walking around for a while. Let me ink out a one hour, one hour vlog. Got a couple hair slots. Wow, what is this? Hello. <laughs> oh wow, this is gorgeous. Let's take a look in here. Didn't even know. I wonder if I got to pay to get in. Ciao. Yeah. Can I walk around? Yeah. Come on. Wow, this is beautiful. Holy snakies. Look how gorgeous this is, guys. This is one of the nicest pagodas I've seen in Saigon. Really upkept. I know it's like going in the daytime or nighttime, so probably can't see the beauty that I can. This is the best camera I have to try to pick that up. Let's see what this actually is. Let's go take a look at the sign, see if there's any English. If not, somebody can translate it for Viet from Vietnamese into the comment section for me. We'll go up there and take a look up top. I mean, you just never know what you're going to find when you randomly walk around. This is the beauty of being a vlogger like me. So this is some kind of schedule. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Absolutely gorgeous. This place is done nice. Like really, really nice. There's monks. So these are the traditional monks. And somewhere around here they live. Like one of these is their living quarters. Oh, this is really nicely done. This is probably the nicest upkept grounds that I think I've ever really seen for one of these temples, Buddhist, pagoda type deal. There's a lot of money into this one. I mean, look how beautiful these walls are. Let's go up some stairs and let's get some exercise. Always good to walk some stairs. I didn't bring any incense, but they might have some incense up there and we'll fire off a couple Buddhist uh, prayers for me and the wife. Fight the evil spirits. I do have respect for the Buddhist culture. I've come to really like it and really got to see the intricacies of it as I've gone through my relationship with my wife. So, much respect for the Buddhist culture. I find it to be very interesting. Whew. Wow. Wow. I gotta take my shoes off, but that's okay. Okay. So let's fire off some prayer bombs here. Okay, so step one is you'll see that they have the incense. So you'll take an incense, you will light the incense. This is a light candle for lighting the incense. They'll usually have a lighter if there is no candle. So then you'll step back. Get that incense burning. And we're gonna go down three times. One, two, three. Hands together, quick little prayer. and respects have been paid. That is how it's done. If you've ever wondered, that's how it's done. So we're gonna take our shoes off. We're gonna take a quick little peek inside. We're not gonna quite go in. This is just one of the most intricate ones I've ever seen in my whole life of being in Vietnam. So again, first thing you wanna do, I'm showing so nobody tries to say I didn't, is you wanna take your shoes off. And then they have the individual prayer set up if you are coming in here for family or something like this nature. Again, everything's super clean. It's okay to take your shoes off. This is by far the 
the nicest one I've ever seen. We'll just step in a little bit. Wow, look at that. What a phenomenal sight. Amazing. What a tremendously cool vlog. So yeah, that's it. She's doing the bell over here. She's doing her prayers. We'll do a couple, three more. One, two, three. Okay, we did our thing. All right, I wanna be respectful so we're not gonna go too much walking around with the camera. That's why I'm also talking a bit more quietly. Tremendous. And we're getting back to the roots of the channel here. This is what it's all about, exploration, seeing things that you don't always get to see unless you go and take the off, off the beaten trail route in Saigon. And that's exactly what we've done today, guys. So let me show you one last thing before we leave this amazing temple. I'll get the name of this temple if you want to come check it out for yourself. So on the top there, you may see it might look like a Nazi symbol to you, but it's not. That has nothing to do with Nazis. That is a Buddhist symbol. So, let me see here. Let me look it up so I'm not just spouting bullshit. So the swastika is an ancient religious and cultural symbol, predominantly in very various Eurasian as well as some African and American cultures. Now it is widely recognized for its appropriation of the Nazi party and by neo-Nazis. It continues to be used as a symbol of divinity and spirituality in Indian religions, including Hindu, Buddhism, and Jainism. It generally takes the form of a cross, the arms of which are which of equal length and perpendicular to the adjacent arms. Each bend midway at a right angle. So, yeah, it's just a shame that the Nazi party used it and that's what it's most known for, but it was around well before that. It's a spiritual symbol for Buddhism. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, got to do some prayers. So let's go walk our way back on the other side of the road. And then I get to take my journey home through rush hour. Come on on. Okay. Where are we at stepwise? Thirteen thousand steps for the day. Not bad. We'll probably end at around fifteen, sixteen. So pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Yeah, I never had any thought that we would stumble onto one of the most beautiful pagodas. And uh, oh, let me let me. Uh, let me put this on the map so I can uh, point you guys here if you want to come here. Okay. That'll be in the description. So the two movies I really like in... Vietnam will be in the description and the name of that uh, Pagoda Buddhist Temple will also be in there if you would like to come check this out for yourself That is one of the most well done well kept Beautiful pagodas I've ever seen in Vietnam And I've seen quite a few now They don't usually make the most riveting filming content So I don't usually film them all I'm usually with my wife on a vacation somewhere, but I found that one to be pretty fascinating. 
Let's walk on this left side. We can walk on this right side. There's a little market for the local neighborhood. So like if the kids want to come get a bag of chips later, they can walk out, come get the bag of chips instead of, you know, going all the way for a Winmart or a GS. Hello! You won't see many uh, GS marts out here. You won't see many, uh, you won't see many mainstream markets out here. It's going to be a lot of the mom and pop shops, so. These are all daycares, it looks like. Little daycare area. No. Hello. If ever in doubt when someone looks at you, just smile and nod or say hello. Every Vietnamese knows hello. <laughs> All the kids are like, it's a white guy. We never see white guys. This looks like a great coffee shop. So if you want to be, if you do come to that uh, pagoda, I'd definitely come here. They got all kinds of great looking smoothies, boba teas. Looks very clean, very well kept. Come check that out too. Hello. Yeah, these are after, after school daycares. I'm gonna have to edit this right when I get home to get this up within a five hour period. It's gonna be a tremendously huge vlog. Hello. I think it's gonna be somewhere around an hour. Really close. Which is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, kids getting some, some um, sausage on a stick. And a couple of drinks, some sweet sugary drinks, as any kid should, as we all did when we were kids. We usually got a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi. They get a Sting or a, a uh, milk tea, which is like pure sugar. So this guy was laying the rebar for these steps earlier. Okay. Yeah, he laid all the rebar. Hello. Hello. <laughs> A little kid playing. Bless Vietnam. Now we'll walk back this way. Nice 20 minute walk back. We'll get to see what kind of what was on this side of the road. Fight the rush hour traffic all the way back. I might even fire up and do another third moto vlog on the way back because it's going to look totally different than when we came here. It's going to be super rush hour -y. Let me see if I got enough battery and everything. I think that's what we'll do. It'll be interesting to see the rush hour from District 12 all the way into District 1. Outfit of the day. Great video, I already saw that one. Those guys getting all the leech on ready. And you're gonna have a dinner rush, so people on the way home, if mom or dad doesn't wanna cook, they're gonna stop off and get that for the kids and for the family. Nice looking pet store. That's a great looking pet store. Really nicely well done. Like I said, the the pet market is, is booming. I haven't seen one Sinoy, one white person besides me. Oh, so this is a ice, this is a ice facility where they make ice. So this is where like the locals would come and pick up all their ice. That's a ice processing over here. And it does get filtered. People ask, but they do filter this ice actually. There's a whole filtration machine that it goes through. And they actually do change the filter on it too. 
So that's usually why the ice is very safe here. Because most of these ice places filtrate their ice through a whole filter system. And they do change the filters. People ask me all the time, can I drink the ice? Yes, you can drink the ice. It's completely safe. Never gotten sick off ice. Only things I've gotten sick off of are seafood and street food that's sitting out. Other than that, I'm Gooch. There's Pho, Pho Hong Nam. So the sign of a good Pho is this. The vat of Pho is gonna be gigantic like that. Like, look how big this tank of Pho is. And he's adding in more stock. So that's probably the Pho Ba, and then that's probably the Pho Ga over there. The Pho Ga is usually a smaller tank. It's not as popular in Saigon as Pho Ba. Pho Ba, beef Pho is, is the king of Pho here. We got over here. Looks like some quail or chicken or duck. Chicken? Chicken. Looks like wild chicken because they're a little bit smaller. Ah, wild chicken's okay. It's a bit gamier, it's a bit chewier. I it's okay. I prefer regular chicken over the wild chicken. Wild chicken is healthier though. So they say. Tile guy for the roof. Little IT place, eye care. That's a pretty popping IT business. They got a lot of stuff going on. Good for them. ACB Bank, banks getting ready to close. People are making their withdrawals before it does. This is not a stray dog, this is just a regular dog. Probably lives somewhere around here. Hey, buddy. You don't have to be scared of dogs here. You just lick the back of my uh, knee. Dogs pick up on your energy too, so if you're all freaked out, they're gonna get freaked out. There's that wedding chapel we saw earlier. Probably something like this is pretty affordable because it's way out here. Having a wedding here costs five to 10,000 with the food and everything. But you usually make the five to 10,000 back and some, depending on how many people. So this is duck and chicken, mainly duck. Duck, 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 duck. Yeah, what we're going to do is I'm going to wait until it gets nighttime and then I'm going to drive back and do another moto vlog for next week. Just got to stack them. My work ethic is pretty, pretty good. So this is a, a really big cooking pot. Chow long, I don't know what chow long is. Looks like intestines though. Intestines that have been sitting. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know what ba, ba is. Some kind of textile. Not food. Textile. That's why I don't know how to read it. Pi, so beef spring roll. Yep. There's a watch guy. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
flower for if someone dies or gets married. So the electric scooters are for anyone under the age of 16. So like a girl that's in middle school or something or a guy will ride that around until they're of age to get a scooter. Here's the Domino's that had the 50k pizza. There's the Domino's. The music's a little loud, I don't want to get copyrighted. Here's a chicken shop. Kind of get away from the music. We're walking by the Heineken plant again. If anybody has some information on that Heineken plant, let's hear it in the comment section. Ciao. Safes. Safes are a big thing here. Of course, you want to lock your stuff up. If there's a way to take a safe, they will, though. It's like some Tom Tom, some broken rice, some pork or chicken or a few other things you can have with it. Mainly means broken rice. Hello. Hello. Popular Tom Tom joint, that one. This is popular too, whatever this place is. Boy, boy, me, chow. I don't know what this is. I think this is a very affordable soup. Like 15K if I remember right for this. I can't remember. Let's take a look. It's 30K, 35K, 10K for something. Duck, some kind of duck soup. Looks pretty yummy. Really big pharmacy, again guy whizzing by on his bike. It's a gigantic pharmacy. Look how large this is. There might be a hospital around here for this many pharmacies that I just don't know about. Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to go back to the Highlands. I'm going to get a, a tea. I'm going to rest my mouth, catch my thirst back, and then we'll do another moto vlog on the way home. Sounds like good times. We are good times. Bon hot vit long. So the same thing we just saw back there. So some kind of... No, no, maybe not. Hello. Smells good. Smells seafoody. Very seafoody. Like crab. Almost like a crab smell. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is the post office, so Vietnam Post. So if you get mail sent to you, that's where it comes through. They do go through your mail. They check to see if it needs to be taxed. So if somebody's sending you like 10 pairs of shoes, expect to pay a, a import tax fee on it. They will open the box. They will check the stuff. Everything I've ever had sent to me has been checked unless it goes through like a private shipping company. But... Bubba. Oh, nice looking pho place. I would eat here too. I'm not eating today or we would sit down and pop into one of these. Ban Quan Nong. Admittedly, I do need to learn how to say these foods. Even though I, I don't have too much of an interest in learning Vietnamese, I need to learn how to count to like 20. I need to learn how to say all the foods. I need to learn about 20 or 30 more words, and then I, I'm pretty good. That, I will admit, oh, sex toy shop. All the sex toys, vibrators, condoms, spice it up, baby. Spice it up. This is that, uh, the cheese thing we talked about earlier. Not much business going on right now. Maybe he'll get a rush in a little bit. Looks really good. So again, this is like an open banh mi. Okay, I've had this before. So you've got the beef over here, you've got the pate, you've got an egg and a sausage. And it usually will come with a banh mi. And then you can take and build it how you want. I call it an open face deconstructed banh mi. 
Is that what it is really? Probably not. They probably call it some other completely different thing. I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to explain things to the average listener. We got a hat guy over here. Any hats I like? Let's take a look at the hats. Dior, Nike. How much is this one? Good right. How much? 35. Okay. This one's not bad. Okay. I buy it. Okay, okay. I always need new hats. My sweat destroys a hat very quickly. And we got two on me. Drop it in the comments. New hat, 35. Very good price. It shows you how overpriced Benton Marketplace is. The spa place looks ready to go. I don't think anybody's really off work quite yet. That's the problem. I like this hat. It's a nice looking hat. Little metal Nike logo on it. I think we got about an hour vlog. We've still got a ways to walk. And I got a bunch of good exercising. Win, win, win. This is what we're going to be doing all week. All week we're going to new places, exploring. After Wednesday, I maybe can try some food. Ah, oh, this spot. So this is the spot. So if you want to come to the spot in District 12, this is it. Look at this. Every seat is filled. This is the place to come and get fa. Fa ba. Be fa. This is the spot, guys. So it is that people want to go to specific spots. Always makes sense though. There's always really, really good spots and okay spots. That's the place to go. They got the pho. It's the easiest way to tell which restaurant to go to. It's really simple. All you have to do is see where everybody's eating and then you know it's good. This is a, not a Vietnam thing. This is a worldwide thing. Anytime you want a good restaurant, just look where people are, and that's it. The seafood place had a couple hotties working there. A chicken and ao yai. With ao yais. If you get what I'm ao yai in. <laughs> Hello! Xin chào! Everybody's super friendly here. I want to hear what you guys thought of this vlog. Leave a review for this vlog in the comments. Was it good? Do you want to see more like this? Did you make it all the way to the end? If you made it all the way to the end, say District 12 is bussin'. And if you've never heard the term bussin', that means awesome. It's B-U-S-S-I-N. So District 12 is bussin' if you made it to the end. And then let me know what you thought of the vlog. Did you like it? Do you want to see more like this? doesn't matter if you do or don't I'm still gonna shoot a bunch like it this week so but I'm curious to hear your guys's feedback we're almost at the end here I think the 
Highlands is right up here. I'm definitely going to get another tea, rest a little bit, and then get back on the bike and drive home. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Baby. What's she sell? Let's see, maybe we can buy something from her too. Let's see, what do we got here? What's she got? Pipe? I don't need a pipe. Nothing really here I need. Razors. Nope. I don't use a razor. Nothing there for fats. All right, guys. I thought that was probably one of my favorite vlogs we've done in the past month. I had a fun time, as you could hear in my voice. It's always cool to explore new stuff. I'm like a little kid in a store, in a candy store, when I get to go somewhere new. So we're gonna keep doing this all week. We're gonna explore the sides of Saigon most people don't go to, so I hope you enjoy the series. I hope you enjoy the motorbike vlogs. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the Patreons. Thank you, everybody. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.